I love this place. Hey, I don't know how to express myself about this place, but this is home, and this is where I'll be maybe for the rest of my life. And man, no one can touch this place really. It's just beautiful. We have too many nice people here. What's up? My name's Spike. Um, I'm from Swidit. I'm INF. I'm Boomer, aka Stony the God. And this is the behind the scenes on No More Parties in Stony Hunger. No more parties in Stony Hunger. It's late at night, your bitch still listen to other lover. Ha ha. Your click's still a fan of us undercover. Ha ha. I'm in the whip, ducking them with the cover. Ha ha. So the opening shot, we've got the camera coming down uh, over the busy southern motorway. Underneath that, there's like a, a walkway as well. And I just thought it was dope, like just um, because no one's ever showcased the bridge in that light. They used to be full of graffiti, um, you know, from back in the day, like 90s, maybe even 80s. Like I've seen that the bridge, like under the bridge used a lot in videos, but I, I, I thought it was cool that um, like we did it considering that we're from Unihanga. My dad actually helped build the motorway. He used to make up excuses like, oh, I'm not feeling too well or, or something. So he could go <laughs> and go see my mom. <laughs> like just growing up in Unihanga and stuff, to, to us, that was where like these rap dudes signed, you know, dressed in like cool, cool shit. They lived there even before I knew INF. Like I actually grew up in their house. RES grew up in their house. So it's, it's, again, that's history connecting as well. So basically, I live maybe one fence, two fences away from INF. Spikes, like up the road, maybe 10 houses. Spike he used to live like right across the road, um, Church Street, which is just off Alfred Street. INF's mothers basically watched me grow as well. So like I was there almost every day. We were staying the night, would fucking play spotlight up and down the street over there. Like that's like when when I think of home, that's my second home. You know, like man, that that's pretty much the our our day here. Smokey he he, he lives there. We're at now, like right now, um, currently. Yeah, so when when Amon was sick and he wasn't able to take um, Smokey to school, I'd go over and I'd pick up Smokey and uh, we'd go to the dairy, stop off and get his pie and then we'll make our way off to school. And uh, me being me, I'd, I'd scab a little bit of his steak and cheese pie and, and he'd hook it up because he's a really nice guy. As a who lives around the corner on Grotto Street. So we all live within uh, 200 meters within each other, so walking distance. INF, um, INF is the, um, he's the energetic guy. Um, you know, he's he's funny. He likes to roast people. He likes to roast people. Um, he's the man with the punchlines. Spike, um, he is very charismatic. He is like, um, you know, he likes his presence to be felt. Spike, he's probably one of the weakest, the weakest links in Swidder. Asher, um, you know, that guy's my son. Like, um, you know, I tell him what to do when he does it. You know, he knows his role. Like when he's around me, he knows his role. See this? You see my pocket? You remember prison break, right? I pull my pocket out and he holds my pocket. Nah. <laughs> Nah, he's the man. As is probably like the outgoing loud guy, but he's very quiet. Um, Jamal, he's he's a big unit and he has good ears. Yeah, Smokey, he's super laid back. He's like in the cut, like, you know, he's a fly on the wall. Yeah, he's just a genius. Like, I think I, I met that dude when he would have been like, Intermediate, maybe like 10, 11, and he was already starting to make beats then. And now it's just crazy to see how, like, how far he's taken it. People want to pick his brain. People want to know what he's what he's doing or what, how he's made this beat, or you know, they want to ask him questions. It's, you know, you can feel it too when people come into the room. 
I'm like, yo. And I look at Smokey, I'm like, man, these dudes want to pick your brain, man. They want to ask you things. <laughs> <laughs> so who's soldiering up? Me <laughs> too? Who's, who's taking this? <laughs> Everyone's gotta get him. Like I told all the boys, I was like, I didn't want that shit to happen. You know, like when they told me like, oh, J1 wants to be thrown in the pool for that for that shot, and I was like, nah, fuck that, because you know, for me, I'm propping him up. Like this dude's like a legend to me. You know what I mean? Like when he goes, yo, you can throw me in the pool, but I'm not gonna go easy. I was like, fuck that, he's gonna do some shit. That's why we told Ezra, like, yo, yo, hold it down for the boys. You throw him in. And he was like, he just went, oh, yo. I think he just wanted to get back to us. We need the music. All right, now, but everyone's got to be in shot. Everyone. Ready? Okay, let's go. So I don't think he can spot me anyway, but I'm like behind everyone while they're all throwing him in, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was yeah, his way of just saying, I right, it's your turn now, man. Let the people watching, like, let them know that it, it's you guys now. You guys are the face of Onihanga, or, you know, so take the torch and run with it. I think we just had shot the scene at Jellicoe in front of the pool, but then um, we're all heading down to um, Under the Bridge, and we um, previously, like, I think it was the day before we had made an event page um, inviting people to come down to the shoot and all dressed in like Hawaiian theme. And um, I messed up because I didn't realize I put it on private. So we could like invite our friends, but they couldn't invite their friends, you know, random people couldn't invite, you know, so on and so on. And the spike hit me and was like, bro, you put the page on private. And I was like, ah, my bad, man. <laughs> So we pulled up, like turned that, I don't know what street that is, but we, oh, bottom of Rakanga Mora, we got around that little bend, and I only saw like four people, and I was like, ah, oh, shit, that's it, it's done. Um, I don't know how we're gonna pull this off. But then we got a bit closer, and then I saw all like, all my homies standing on the bridge, like, in their Hawaiian shirts and shit, and I was just like, yes, it's going down. Hey, hey, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit! Oh, shit, oh, shit. Oh shit, someone's got pretty sad. <laughs> someone's got their escort drone. Wow. Hey, let's go. Hey, uh, Daniel, let's go over and go. just crazy like we didn't expect anyone to turn up so it was kind of cool that people came through the amount of people that showed up you know to be in the video and provide their energy and their time and efforts fuck, it was crazy like blew me away because I was like man like, these dudes are here for us like you know, these dudes listen to the song and they're willing to give up some of their time to you know show us some love and be in the video so that was amazing